Right before the video starts, I want to give a big shout out to Juan because he inspired me to do this tutorial. And if you guys haven't already copped the editing pack, I'll leave a link down in the description for completely free. Hey everyone, my name is Jack. Welcome back to another short tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys three different transitions that you could do in your Fortnite highlights. This tutorial gets 250 likes. I'll show you guys how to do them at that blow. So you just want to import two clips uh, and then after you get the kill, uh, you just want to find the part where you want the transition to happen. So for me, I'm going to have it like around over here. I might have it uh, zoom in or like transition in this part. So I'm going to just take that snapshot, but first of all, make it full quality and take the snapshot. And then after that, you want to open uh, Paint 3D. It's free. It comes with a window, so you don't have to download it. It's already that's already installed all right so once you have paint 3d open you just want to click on the menu and then click uh, browse files and then you just want to go to documents wonder share wonder share for more and then snapshot and then you want to drag this so you can use any software you want but i want to just use paint 3d uh, since everybody has it so you want to click on the marker and then just click green or any color you like you just want to make sure it's uh, different than uh, the background after that you just want to scroll in and then outline everything with green and keep in mind the edges don't have to be exactly perfect because it's not going to be really noticeable all right so now that i'm done doing that you just want to click export on the menu save as and then uh, image and then you can save this anywhere you want also i forgot to mention you might want to add a little marker so you can know so you know where uh to cut this footage over here okay then after that you just want to drag this over here a little click and then uh, hit chroma key and uh, you can mess with the settings i like my tolerance to be on 100 and then zero for the feather and set and uh, edge thickness so once you have done that, you just want to double tap, go to animation, customize, click add, and then go all the way over here, and then just make the scale um, a little bit up. If it goes on the edge, then you can move the X. And then I'm going to add another point just to make it fully scale in. As much as possible. So that's the first transition. So for this second transition, you just want to have your second clip underneath the first one. And then double tap the first, go to animation, customize, and then click add. And then you just basically have to be creative uh, with this one. So I'll, I'll show you a few examples that you can do. So let's say uh, we want it to scale down and then just go to the right. So what we do is have the scale down first. And then after that, just move a few frames and then the uh, move the x position all the way to the right of like this if this is too fast you can increase the the frames i'll show you another quick transition that's uh, pretty easy to do so let me just delete all these keyframes so for this one you want to have your second clip on top and you just want to click add on the start over here and then you just want to go all the way back and have this scale down so it's like this right but it just doesn't you know match as well so we could uh, move this to the middle and then scale, make this go down a little bit and just like that Alright, so that's going to be it for the tutorial. If you guys have any questions, then be sure to join my Discord server. Links will be down in the description and DM me any questions you have. And our beautiful mods can help you out there as well. Anyways, see you next time.